Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 275. Today what we're doing is a little caveat to squatting, and that's breathing, or the lack of breathing, or holding your breath, whichever way you're trying to think about it, okay? I got a bunch of questions about this, so I figured there's no better time to insert it now, right after we finished our three pillars of squatting. And remember, if you guys haven't seen those, check back last three episodes. First one, first and foremost, got to be midline stability. Second pillar is got to be the ability to hip hinge. Third pillar is lower extremity tracking and its importance, okay? However, once we have those down and taking from that, what about breathing? What is the purpose of breathing or holding our breath? It's really simple. When we take a, a deep breath in and we try to hold it, what we're trying to do is brace our stomach. We're adding stability to our core, okay? If you don't believe me, I want you guys to try this out there. You're gonna put your feet together like such, okay? You're gonna turn to either direction. It doesn't matter, but I want you to turn as far as you can. Hands are gonna be out to your side. Once you do that, I want you to take a deep breath in and hold it. Even if you are able to get as far both times, you'll most likely notice that there's an increase in torque, increase in pressure as you torque to the left or to the right, whichever one you did, because there's an increase in rigidity in the core, okay? I want you to think about a, a soda can. If you take two identical soda cans, you pop the lid off of one of them, you keep the lid on the other, okay? You step on the one that doesn't have a lid on or you crack the, the, the soda can open, okay? Most likely it's gonna compress very easily, the contents is gonna spill out. Take that same soda can on the other side, that identical soda can. You don't crack the lid, and you can most likely stand on it without too much pressure. Why does that happen? It happens because the pressure inside gives the, gives the structural integrity, gives the rigidity to the soda can. Our core works the same exact way. We have our abdominals in the front. We have our thoracic cage in the back. Well, our, our thoracolumbar area in the back. Okay, we have our uh, diaphragm as the top and our pelvic floor as the bottom, okay? That is our human can, so to speak, okay? So we need to put that under compression or pressure to give it some structural integrity, to give it some rigidity. And this is the steps in which I like to teach my athletes how to do it, okay? First and foremost, what we wanna do is we wanna squeeze the glutes and contract the abdominals, okay? From there, we take a deep breath because we're not trying to take a breath in and allow our stomach to push out. We're taking a breath in to contract against, okay? Much like we would use a belt or something else, okay? So if I take it, if I squeeze the butt, tighten the tummy, now as I press down and I kind of like force that air down, I can force that air against my contract, my contracted torso, okay? So the whole setup looks like this. Step one, squeeze the glutes. Step two, tighten the tummy. Step three, Deep breath in and hold, bracing against a contracted stomach. Step four, I think. Then we squat. Okay, so we're in our squatting position. Okay, all rules apply from, from the last three episodes. Squeeze the butt, tight the tummy, breath in, bracing against the contracted stomach. And squat. One way from this way. Squeeze the butt, tighten the tummy, breath in and contracting against a, or breath in and bracing against a contracted stomach, and then squat. Try that out. See if it gives you a little bit more torso rigidity. See how you feel with it, under it. And guys, one, uh, one little last thing I just want to don't want to forget to mention. Some people hold their breath throughout the entire squat. Other people train that once they go ahead exhale on the way up I want you to try both of them see which one you like better but the idea is to hold the torso rigidity at the bottom which allows us to apply all the muscular pressure all the, the mechanical pressure that we have to our legs to get that squat up in there I hope this helps guys until tomorrow we are optimizing function to optimize performance